It's an incredible vision of the future. Oh, here it comes. The world's fastest train floating through the foothills of Mount Fuji. So if you wait until you see it, you Woo. missed it. Boom. This is where we're going at. 500 kilometers an hour, 311 miles an hour. Fastest train in the world. It's called a maglev, and this could be coming to our home. An ambitious plan to mostly tunnel a high-speed maglev route between downtown D.C. and Baltimore, a path that largely follows BW Parkway. We just stopped doing things for about 20 or 30 years. Wayne Rogers is the Maryland businessman leading the D.C. to Baltimore project. We're drowning in congestion. I mean, nearly all of our roads fail. We have the worst and longest commute in all of America, our MARC train. By 2025, 70% of all the stations will be over capacity. But there's serious opposition. Nothing is alleviating our concerns here in the neighborhood. The high-speed train tunnel could end up right below Nichelle Shaw's Hyattsville home. I would think the first step would be to involve the community where you're building these projects. At, at, ask us what we want. I don't know anybody that's in favor of it. Elevated train tracks could be built right along Virginia Simmons' backyard in Laurel. If you look through the, the trees, you can slightly see the, the parkway. So it would take all, of the, all those trees down and, and might even come as close as right through this yard here. Turn left and then turn right. So yeah, I mean, look how close the parkway is to these neighborhoods. Plenty of trees on either side, but this is where the elevated train tracks would be. Imagine a train shooting right by at more than 300 miles an hour. What would you say to the Americans who are afraid of this project? In Yamanashi, Japan, thousands live near the train. My name is Yui Osano. Yamanaka Izumi. Namari wa Yoshiharu. And they're sharing with us their stories of life in motion near the maglev. Our trip starts in Tokyo, Japan's future maglev hub. But what do we mean when we say maglev? Magnetic levitation. Magnets on the bottom, magnets on the sides of the train, no friction, and the magnets propel the train forward and make it levitate above the ground. That also makes it the fastest train in the world. The route already operates outside of Tokyo, on a track about 30 miles long. Going so this up. would be if we started in Mount Vernon Square and we're going to Baltimore? That's correct. Okay. And right now, as you can see on the thing, we're already 55, 55 miles an hour, miles which is hour. which is riding faster than the Mark trains and everything just right out of the, out of the uh, beginning. The train will soon make a transition from wheel running mode to levitation mode. It announces when the wheels below us retract as powerful magnets begin their high speed heavy lifting. So this is what it feels like to float. Yeah, and you can get up and walk around and you had a cup of coffee in your hand, you'd be fine. In a word, it's simply effortless. Rogers tells us it's his dream to build an American maglev in the next 10 to 15 years. How often, Wayne, do you talk to skeptics about the project and when you explain what this feels like, do you think that the people understand that? I don't think until you come and actually experience it because your only conception is our current technology. As in Amtrak trains, with a history of slow speeds and accidents deemed unacceptable by Amtrak's own inspector general. The Japanese maglev, in testing now for more than 20 years, has a perfect passenger safety record. But has the maglev been a perfect neighbor? Ohio Gazimas. This is Yuchi Osano, whose farmland is right down the street from the maglev. What do you think of this maglev? It's going to be new for America if they decide to build it in our home. What do you think of the train? I've test ridden it myself, and it's wonderful, he says. It's actually quieter than a normal bullet train, and there's minimal vibration. But closer to town, cafe server Izumi Yamanaka says not everyone has such a stellar opinion of the maglev. And there are concerns as the train reshapes landscapes and lives. There are elements of unease about the maglev, specifically any potential health effects from its magnetic fields and the elevated tracks proposed for Prince George's County. Those are big concerns, and that's where we'll pick up tomorrow. Leslie?
fascinating story, Mike. We're looking forward to it. And if you want to see this train could be built next to your home, if you want to see if it could, we've got an interactive map and all of Mike's reporting on our website. You just go to WUSA9.com slash superspeed or our WUSA9 app.